Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we will be explaining how to set up a Bungie network. You're going to need at least two to three servers. We do recommend you go at least three, or else there's really no point in doing this. You're going to need a primary Bungie server, recommended at least one to four gigabytes, but you can start at one as we don't want you to overspend. And then you also require the subservers. It does not matter the amount of RAM you're gonna be using. For this, we're primarily gonna be using four gigabytes and a one gigabyte Bungie. We will start off on the Bungie server. You wanna make sure you have Bungie installed. So what we're gonna do is go into our versions, Click on Bungie Cord and click Install. You want to click Yes, and then we can go ahead into our console and actually start up the server. Once the server is actually online and active, you can go ahead and stop it, and we're going to go straight into File Manager and click on config.yml. What we're first going to do is name our server. So we can go change Lobby into Hub. We can change the MLTD as we like. So I can go ahead and put Hub Server, and we're going to go into our Hub Server, copy the IP, and paste it in right next to address for moving localhost 25565. We will copy all the way from false, restricted all the way to hub and under it, we will go all the way back and paste it and change this to whatever other server we may have. This is a copy and paste and repeat process that you have to do for every single server that you may have. So we'll go ahead and change this from hub to faction server. And we will go over to the faction server and make sure to copy the IP as well. Please take note that no matter what the MLTD is, it does not matter when you're running commands inside the game. What matter is whatever name you put here. So whenever you're doing slash server or trying to go to a different server, you will use these names that you provide at the top of each subserver. After that, we're gonna go and scroll down, change IP forward to true. If you'd like to add yourself as an admin, you can change MD underscore five to your Minecraft username. You are not required to change the host name at all. Please keep it 0.0.0.0 and it'll automatically select the port for you. If you'd like to change the MLTD, you can change it for out here and then we'll just add our own as simple as that. You can use a plugin as well, which is really recommended. You can change the map players and what we're gonna look into is force default server this is optional if you want them to join a hub for the first time or within any of those you can do it that way and we're also gonna change priorities into the hub as well as we want them to join the hub first again all this is optional and you can do it as you wish and if you did enable force default server you want to come over to force host and make sure to change it right here to hub once you got that all complete you can save content go into console and you can start up your server once that's started up, what we're going to do is go into our subserver. We're going to the file manager and we'll go into server.properties. We're going to look for online mode, which you can actually do control F and search online dash mode. And that will appear. What we're going to do is change true to false. You can control S or click save content. And then we're going to go back into our container and look for spigot.yml. And we're going to change bungee cord from false to true and save content. Go into our content. We can actually start the server up. We'll do it on our last server just to see how easy it is again. And this is a process that you do for every single server. Go into server.properties, online mode from true to false, save content, go back to your file manager, go into spigot.yml and change bungee cord from false to true. Bungee cord may be different depending if you're using paper and it may be called bungee dash mode, which is perfectly fine. You wanna make sure that it's just set to true. You can go ahead and start that server as well. And there you have it. That is all it takes to set up your very own Bungie network today. I would like to thank you for watching all the way to the end and thank you for choosing Revive Node.